a God, a Father, comes to us with the good news of blessing. He gives us the word of God of Numbers chapter 6 verse 22 to 27 that every servant of God should become a blessing and you should bless the world. So he separates group of people called Nazarenes. A Nazarene is one who is consecrated by the Lord, who is consumed by the fire of the Lord, who has the passion for the Lord because only with the passion of the Lord we can overcome the passion of the world. The world comes with all its passion. Satan comes with its force. With off-minded Christians cannot overcome the full-time busy-oriented Satan. So God wants, first of all, the people who bring blessing to the world, they should be consumed by the fire of the Lord. That's why he says, the book of number chapter 6 verse 12 says the man who is consecrated will be like this number 16 says he will be bringing an unblemished lamb a consecrated man brings the lamb lamb symbolizes the purifying power lamb is killed and the blood purifies. So a man who is dedicated to God becomes the lamb first of all. He is concentrating on his own sin, his own unworthiness and he has to come to God and see his sin, repent for his sin and purify his life. Only then he will be consecrated to God. Only then he can carry the fire of the Lord in himself. The second thing we read in number 6 verse 17. He has to bring the baked unleavened cake. Yes, the unleavened cake is symbol of remembering God in thanksgiving. When the people of Israel, when they went from Egypt, they took the unleavened bread. And that gave them the food for many days. Yes, in our lives, God has done many things. Easily our faith will be destroyed by the enemy. So number one, to carry the fire of the Lord in us. To carry the vision and passion of God in us. We have to purify ourselves. Number two, constantly remember what God has done in our lives. Constantly we begin to thank Him, worshipping Him. Our prayer should be a worship. Then third thing we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 19. The priest Aaron will come with the offering and give it into the hands of the Nazarene. So the Nazarene has to accept these offerings to God and surrender his life to him, making a vow of dedication. It is not enough to have desire for God. One has to make a decision. Making vows means a person makes a decision that all his life he chooses God, chooses God who has chosen him. In the world there are so many things for which a dedicated servant can throw away his life. Though he has dedicated his life to God, his sustenance, the money he needs can pull him away. The people who support him can pull him away. And the world in which he lives can pull him away. So a dedicated servant, a person who has to be blessed, he has to make a vow of dedication. Lord, I need you. Lord, I rest in you. Anything happens, I thirst for you and I am satisfied in you. Yes, that is called 
a person who makes the dedication. And then we read in verse 20, the Nazarene accepts to become sacred, remain holy all his life by taking, carrying the law of the Lord into his heart. We are human beings. Any type of thought in the world can affect us. So a dedicated servant of God should carry the law of the Lord. So these are the ways through which the book of Numbers teaches us that how a person can become a blessing. If a person has to be a blessing, he has to be dedicated to God. Dedicated to God means number one, he has to constantly purify himself. Number two, who has to constantly thank God, praise God, worship God and make his life a thanksgiving worship. Number three, he has to make the vow for God, saying, I choose you, let anything happen all the days of my life. I lean on you. As we read in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, remember the Lord in all your ways and do not cling to your own thoughts and he will transform your path. Yes, and if we, fourth, he has to carry the law of the Lord all the time, remembering the word of God, remembering the way of the Lord, that the way of God, the plan of God, the thinking of God should constantly make the person to think, to plan, and to live. So such a person has to now bless the world. How he has to bless? Number one, he has to bless in this way. May God bless you and may he keep you. Yes, one who is kept by God becomes a blessing. We read in the book of Exodus where chapter 34 verse 29 to 35 God calls Moses and keeps Moses with himself and when Moses was kept by God all that belonged to God is being given to Moses his face begins to shine that's why the next statement says may the face the light that comes from the face of God shine upon you may the Lord bless you a servant of God should first give the greeting is may God bless you. Second, may the light of God shine upon you. Third, may he be gracious to you, merciful to you, that you may carry God's peace upon you.